All right, so this is a brand new blender scene, like straight out of the box. I have not done anything. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag and delete all this. Anything that we needed from this, like a light or a camera, we can add that later. I find it's easier to just start with nothing so that everything that I put in there is done intentionally. So I'm gonna highlight all of that and then tap delete on my keyboard and that will delete all of these objects. Then what I'm going to do is import the mesh portion first of the item that we just exported. So to do that, in the upper left hand corner, go to File, Append, and you'll have to go to your folder. And then you'll want the .blend file. So once we append that, we will have to go into the folder. And as you can see, a blend file consists of multiple different types of folders that have information about the object. The object itself is what we want. And you want to take Studio 4 Mesh 1. In different objects, there could be like 10 of these. Never take zero and always take the rest. So I'm going to just take one since that's the only other one here. And then append it. And as you can see, we got a couple little extra stragglers that came along with it. They don't do anything. So I'm going to delete those as well. So just in the upper right hand corner, you can click the individual objects. I'm going to delete these extra two things so that I'm only left with the thing that says Studio 4 Mesh. Um, and if you want to, to make this easier, you can double click on where it says Studio Mesh and rename it. So I'm going to rename it just Sofa. So another thing is if you're looking in Blender, up in this top right hand corner, if you're on 2.9 or above, it should be here. Um, anything lower than that, this tutorial might not actually work for. Um, but in the upper upper right hand corner, you have different options. You can have a wireframe look at it. I call this the clay look. I it's just a solid. Then we have this next one where it actually shows you the texture, which we don't have one at the moment, which is why it's solid white. And then this last one is a render preview. And as you can see, there's no texture because we haven't added it. And it's pretty dark because there's no lights in the scene. Um, so it's usually easier to work in this one, the one that shows you the texture, so that you can actually see when you've properly put the texture in. So to actually get that texture loaded in now, the process is very similar to what you would actually do if you were importing a sim. So the first thing I'm going to do is give myself another window over here. To do that in the upper left hand corner, I'm going to drag over and that splits the window. And then I am going to click here and then go to Shader Editor. And it's going to look like this. There's nothing in it. To add something to it, I'm going to click on my sofa and then in the lower right hand panel look for this beach ball icon and it says material properties. So the material is just blender speak for the thing that gives it color. So our textures, any kind of color data that we may have. Uh, usually for this kind of process it's just going to be an image. So I'm going to click on it and there's a ton of stuff here. Don't get overwhelmed. You don't need almost any of this. But what I am going to click on is use nodes. And once you do that You'll see some stuff has popped up in the left split window and you can move around in here and like once again lots of options that we're not going to use. But what you want to do is add a node which is what these windows are called to this by just clicking add and what we're looking for is a texture and our texture is an image so we're going to add an image texture and then just drop it anywhere. Click open. And now we're going to navigate to the image that we exported from Sims 4 Studio. And then what we have to do, let me zoom in a little, is on the left where it says color, we need to click that dot and get this line 
and drag it to the base color of the object. And as you can see, in our right split window, the color of the couch is now showing. So we have this object ready to go and ready to use in our Blender scene.